All right, so given this string and we want to update this, will this syntax of just accessing um, the string via index and doing assignment at that index work? And the answer is no, The re it won't work. And the reason lies behind this concept of immutable um, with respect to Python strings. So let's hop right in and talk about this. So what does it mean to be immutable? Well, in Python, it means that you essentially can't reassign a value um, within that object. So th what that means is, is like when I try to do this assignment at this specific index within a string, it doesn't work. Well, you're like, well, hey, I, I, I can index still into a string. Like if I do a for loop, I can say for i in, or for, we'll say for char in text, txt, print txt, or print char, right? So if I go through ahead and run this, you'll see that I get this whole string of hello YouTube. So I can obviously index into it. But again, like I mentioned, immutability stems around the ability of not changing a, uh, a data type. So, or not being able to change within it once it's already been set. So what that means is, is when I go to do something like, um, say I want to replace this space with a uh, character, the only way I can do that with a different character rather than the space, the only way I can do that is essentially to create a new instance of a string object and with the updates that I want. And again, there's several ways to do this. I can say, so text one is equal to, and just like I showed in my previous video, I can do something like text dot replace um, a space with the dash. And if I were to go ahead and let's print these out. So print um, text, do an F string, here we go. TXT, uh, TXT is equal to, and then I go ahead, we'll move this up here, and then I'll just say text one is equal to that. So if I go ahead and now run this, you'll see that text is equal to hello, which is our original string, but now there's the updates. I have removed the, or replaced um, the space character with a dash. And that only happens because what happens is here is in this replace function, essentially I'm going through and iterating and finding, hey, that's that's where it is. So that's where the space is. And this is where this is what I'm changing with. So it's creating a new object of a new string object and not actually changing anything with that current one. And the only way to kind of change the current one was basically to recreate it and say, text is now equal to text.replace. And so that's why you see a lot of people when they do something, they just go ahead and change or overwrite basically the original variable with the new data um, to kind of create their kind of indexing. So basically what it means to be immutable with respect to Python strings is the fact that once you have a string, you can't um, essentially pick an index, say at like index zero of the string and say, now that is going to be equal to a specific value. No, you have to actually say, nope, I got to recreate it and I got to create a new object. And then you use something like the replace, replace method, or you can use an like F string. Like you could do something like, we say this is text one. I can say txt2 is equal to txt or an F string. And I can use something like string splicing where I can say txt and then from zero. So if I don't put anything in the beginning of this, it means zero, or I could say zero either way um, to five. So when it's at this side of the colon when slicing, if you aren't familiar, basically essentially means it says goes all the way up into that index, but does not include it. So basically it should include everything here, um, but not index five, which is this guy. And then I say dash and then, or gotta go outside of the bracket and say dash. And then if I want to replace this index, I have to start at index six. And so we end up with doing txt six to the end. So if I do nothing here, then that just means if I do nothing on this side of the colon, just basically means go all the way to the end. So again, if I rerun this and I just now print text one, oops, text one, and I take this and I say, let's print out text two. You should see that text is the original and text one is the um, has the dash and text two is exactly the same thing as text one. And just like that, that is how you replace it. And that is why you can't directly assign a new variable within, uh, at a specific index within a string because it's immutable, meaning it can't be changed. Um, via, via that assignment, you have to recreate a whole new thing. So I hope that answers this question on what does it mean for, uh, to be immutable, uh, or what does immutable mean with respect to Python strings? If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.